What's up guys, we're here in Jasper National Park and in this video we're going to show you our top things to do here. So hope you enjoy it. Jasper National Park is located in the Canadian province of Alberta. It's the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies, spanning 10,878 square kilometers. With magnificent towering peaks, crystal clear lakes, and breathtaking glaciers, Jasper showcases the true beauty of the great outdoors. On top of that, the park's diverse ecosystem harbors an abundance of wildlife, including bears, elk, moose, and bighorn sheep. In this video, we highlight 12 of our favorite things to do in the park. Make sure to watch until the end, because we also share three useful travel tips. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. Located about an hour drive from the town of Jasper, the Mayette Hot Springs provide the ultimate relaxation after a day of adventure. First discovered in 1908, the naturally heated, mineral-rich waters are believed to have therapeutic properties. There are a total of four pools with varying temperatures, from the smaller cold pools to the larger hot ones. Entry to the hot springs is first come, first serve, and entry tickets can only be purchased in person at the reception. The Columbia Icefield is situated along the Icefields Parkway, about 100 kilometers or 62 miles south of the town of Jasper. Draped on a high alpine plateau, this ice field is the largest one in the Canadian Rockies, containing about 30 distinct glaciers. You can get up close and personal to the incredible Athabasca Glacier, a crucial source of fresh water that feeds numerous rivers and streams in the region. From the parking lot, it's an easy 10 to 20 minute walk. Along the way, you'll gain a better understanding of the Earth's changing climate patterns and their impact on the glaciers. So you can see behind me here, there's a sign from 2006. That's where the glacier was then. Uh, it's quite further back now. So we just read that it's been receding at about a five meters per year rate. Another way to experience the natural beauty of the massive Columbia ice field is by hiking the Wilcox Pass Trail. This moderate hike is about 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles long, with 490 meters or 1,600 feet of elevation gain. The trail takes you through diverse landscapes, including forested areas and alpine meadows. You may also encounter an array of wildlife along the trail. The icing on the cake is the panoramic view of the Athabasca Glacier that you get at the end. Alternatively, if you want to see another glacier of the ice field, you can hike the nearby Parker Ridge. The parking lot for the trail is only a five minute drive from the Wilcox Pass parking lot. This 5.8 kilometer or 3.6 mile hike is technically located in Banff National Park and takes you onto a ridge that looks out to the impressive Saskatchewan Glacier. The Sunwapta Falls are a mesmerizing set of waterfalls right off the Icefields Parkway. The word Sunwapta translates to turbulent river in the Stony language which describes the powerful force with which the Sunwapta River cascades down the falls. Divided into two stunning drops, the upper falls can be quickly accessed from the parking lot, whereas the lower falls require a short downhill walk through the forest.
Found right outside the town of Jasper, Maline Canyon is a 50 meter or 165 foot deep gorge carved over centuries by the swirling waters of the Maline River. The canyon is easily accessible via a series of trails and bridges. Walking these provide different perspectives of the steep limestone walls and cascading waterfalls. We started at the first bridge and made our way down to the fifth one, then hiked back up via a connecting trail. This short hike is also referred to as the Moline Canyon Loop. From Moline Canyon, it takes about 35 minutes of driving to get to Moline Lake. This picturesque glacial-fed lake is renowned for its crystal clear waters and surrounding snow-capped peaks. The lake is 22 kilometers or 13.6 miles long and offers activity options for hikers, paddlers, and nature enthusiasts. One of the most popular things to do at Moline Lake is taking a boat tour to Spirit Island. There's no road or trail access to the island here, so you can only get here by boat. Find more details via the link in the description below the video. Starting from the same parking lot as the Mayette Hot Springs, the Sulphur Skyline Trail offers one of the most stunning panoramas in Jasper National Park. This popular trail is about 8 kilometers or 5 miles long, and we consider it a challenging hike. With 656 meters or 2,152 feet of elevation gain, it's a relatively steady climb to the Sulphur Skyline Summit. From the top, you can enjoy 360 views of the Fiddle River and surrounding peaks. Jasper has some of the best mountain bike trails in the world, with a variety of well-connected and well-maintained trails to choose from. We rode the Lakes Loop an easy 12 kilometer or 7.4 mile route that starts and ends in the Jasper Town site. Elevation gain is pretty minimal, so it's perfect for beginners. The trail passes by the scenic Athabasca River, as well as the beautiful Beauvair Lake, Lake Annette, and Lake Edith. There are numerous bike rental shops in town, but it's best to reserve your bike in advance. Departing from the west shore of Maline Lake, the Bald Hills Trail is another must-do hike. The trail is 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles round trip and offers the most scenic vistas of Maline Lake. The initial ascent through the forested fire trail feels quite long and boring since there aren't many views along the way. But you can shave off some distance by taking the steeper shortcut trail. Once you get above the tree line, you'll be rewarded with stunning views of Moline Lake and its surrounding mountains. The final viewpoint at the end of the ridge is definitely worth the effort. We highly recommend following the loop trail back so that you can hike the second small ridge line rather than just heading back on the same exact trail that you came from. We left a link to our trail route in the description below if you want to follow the same one on your phone. Mount Edith Cavill is likely the most iconic peak in Jasper National Park. You can drive to the slopes of the mountain via the narrow and windy Highway 93A. From the parking lot, 
The short and paved path of the glacier trail leads to a beautiful viewpoint of the Angel Glacier and the glacial fed lake below it. But for more elevated and picturesque views, we suggest continuing on the Edith Cavill Meadows Trail. After another 800 meters or 2,600 feet, you reach a more scenic lookout. Continuing past this viewpoint is also worthwhile if you want to admire fields of wildflowers and wildlife, including pikas, marmots, and sometimes even grizzly bears. The Jasper Sky Tram is one of the longest and highest aerial tramways in Canada, taking you to Whistler's Mountain at an elevation of 2,263 meters or 7,424 feet. The mountain offers endless views of various mountain ranges, glacially fed lakes, rivers, and of course the picturesque town of Jasper. On a clear day, you can even see Mount Robson from here, known as the tallest peak in the Canadian Rockies. You should definitely book your tickets in advance, as spots are limited. We left the booking link in the description below the video. We just got off the gondola and the views are absolutely amazing from here. But now we're going to do a small hike up to Whistler Summit and it's about one and a half kilometer. Finally, the easiest and most rewarding trail in Jasper National Park is the Valley of the Five Lakes. A 5 kilometer or 3.1 mile loop trail winds through a forested valley to the five interconnected emerald lakes. Each lake offers a unique experience, with varying shades of green and diverse flora and fauna. The trail takes about one and a half to two hours to complete, including stops for pictures. But be aware that this is also one of the most popular trails in the park, so it can get crowded at times. This was our top selection of things to do and hikes in Jasper National Park. But of course, there are many other activities and trails to choose from as well. For example, if you're looking for more adventure, you can join one of the many whitewater rafting tours on the Athabasca River. And if you're looking for backcountry hiking and camping, we highly recommend looking into the Skyline Trail or Tonkin Valley Trail. We left a link to more activities in the description below the video. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share three travel tips for Jasper National Park. First, Jasper is a popular destination, especially during the summer months. To secure the best accommodations and activities, it's recommended to plan and book your trip well in advance. There are some first-come, first-served campgrounds that you don't have to book, such as snaring and overflow, but these are unserviced. Second, the weather in the park can be unpredictable, even in the summer. It's important to pack and dress in layers always carry a waterproof jacket as well. We put some other items that you should bring on the screen here for you. Finally, Jasper is home to diverse wildlife, including bears, elk, and moose. Encounters are very likely. Remember to keep bear spray handy, maintain a safe distance when encountering these animals, and never feed or approach them. You may also want to visit the nearby Banff National Park or Waterton Lakes National Park. If you do, make sure to watch our other park and hiking videos. We have a full playlist on our YouTube channel of this area. We also have a Canadian Rockies road trip video in which we share a two to three week road trip itinerary through all the best parks. If you're planning your Jasper National Park trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. 
find a discount code in the description below. We also included other important links in the description that will help you with your trip, such as an interactive map to get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.